Why does marketing your home matter if it's still a seller's market? As an agent, I'm on the MLS every day, and I so often see pictures uploaded on the MLS for new listings, and instead of hiring that professional photographer, they're taking cell phone pictures. They're not even taking a picture of every room in the house. They're just taking pictures of the highlights, and they're putting that on the MLS so they can hurry up and get that house on there because they know it doesn't matter. With the shortage of homes, that home is going to sell. So why does it matter if you use a professional photographer? Why does marketing the listing still matter if the house is going to sell no matter what? I'll tell you why. Are you truly going to get the most money you can get for that house? Are you going to get the best offer you can get for that house if your agent is not truly marketing the house the way it needs to be marketed? You're still going to have other homes that you're competing against. So, you know, even though we have low inventory, usually there's going to be more than one house that a buyer can look at in their price range. So you want your home to stand out above all others. You want your home to shine. So you still want an agent who's marketing it using professional photography, especially if you have a little bit of acreage, if you have lake views, if you have lake frontage, you're going to want a professional photographer to highlight those things for you. Buyers are also a little weary, so they're not as, as quick to jump on a house now. Interest rates are going up. A lot of buyers have been in this market for months trying to get a house, and some of them are just like, you know what, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of getting my offer rejected. Unless it's just the one I don't really want to look at a house right now. So you want your house to be the one for that buyer. And you need to remember the seller mar seller's market is not going to last forever. What goes up must come down. And while we're not predicting a housing bubble like we saw in 06, 07, and 08, we do know that at some point the rising prices are going to slow. You want an agent who's going to help you capture the market while it's still there. So I'm going to give you an example. I've had homes that I have comped out and talked to the seller and we put them on the market at basically market price. Based on comparable sales in the area, here's your list price. And they listened to me. We listed it at that price. They had some projects that they needed to complete at the house before we sent the photographer out. Then we sent the professional photographer out. We had drone photos made. We had a 3D Matterport tour done. We did the whole nine yards on this house. And I knew based on the qualities of the home, based on the features of this home, that it was going to get a lot of demand. So I wanted to make sure that we made it look its absolute best so that my seller would get the top dollar and the best offer. So, you know, sometimes the best offer isn't always the highest dollar. Sometimes the best offer is that one that offers the path of least resistance to get to closing. So we put this house on the market. In two days time, we had over 45 showings. We allotted showings for every 30 minutes, pretty much from sun up to sundown. My seller left her house in the morning. She came back home at the end of the night because otherwise we had people in and out of her house all day long. We received 22 offers on that house. We had some new buyers in the game because some of these people were doing government loan financing, just offering asking price, asking for closing cost assistance, you know, a lot of different things that you can just kind of tell when somebody puts that kind of an offer in on what's considered a hot property that they're new in the market and they've not had a rejection before. But we got some really strong offers as well. We had people, you know, who were doing 20, 30, 40% down conventional financing. We had people who were willing to waive a home inspection. And then we had some good cash offers that came in as well. The seller has to look at what are... What is the best path for me to get to closing? Because the last thing a seller wants to do is accept an offer 
And then that buyer fail to get to the closing table for them because she's already making other plans to move to another state. So had I taken cell phone pictures, had I not had drone shots of that particular property because it did have five acres and a nice mountain view, you know, would we have had the attention to that listing that we got because we did hire a professional photographer, we gave her some projects to do before we actually came in and took photos of the home. So that's why you want an agent who knows how to market the property, even when it's a seller's market. Because she ended up selling her home for $37,500 over list price with no inspection with what could have been a cash buyer who ultimately did do a 50% down conventional loan. But she was able to close on time. She got her funds. She was able to move out of state. And she was happy at the end of the day, which is what I want. I want happy sellers. So even though you're in a seller's market, even though houses are still selling really quickly around here, you need to pick an agent who knows how to market your house to help you get the best offer which again may not be the highest offer, but it's the offer that will get you the least path of resistance to get to the closing table. I'm Amy Schrader. I'm with Remax Real Estate 10 in Morristown, Tennessee. I would love to help you get your home marketed and sell this year. If you're looking to sell your home, please give me a call 423-748-8811.